Hey guys, welcome back to Fleet Yards Reviews. I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Connor Coggins, and we are back. It was a week break, but we are back looking at the Orville episode 7 called... Majority Rule. Very poignant as a title. Absolutely. As always, we don't discuss our thoughts, so Stuart, what, was your, what are your thoughts about this episode overall? Um, it's very social commentary-ish, uh, talking mm-hmm. about the, the status of the world today. Uh which, you know, is what Star Trek tends to do, and now Orville is doing, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought it was average. Um, there wasn't as much cool new stuff to look at uh, mm-hmm. as uh, most of the other episodes, but I did really enjoy it and uh, had a few re- like really good qualities about mm-hmm. it. So um, overall, good episode. Just above average for me. Yeah, I think we. I think we tend at this point we tend to reverse a little bit. Uh, I thought this episode was almost flawless. Really? Yeah, I, I, I watched it like it, it didn't reach the the amazing heights that it could have, but it's also a, a lighter show, so it can't really do that, you know. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. for what it was doing, how it was doing, it, I thought pretty much perfectly executed, and even the one-off jokes for the most part were all good, and mm-hmm. the random ones. You know they're random, but that's kind of his style. So you would expect those sorts of things to happen. But no, as an episode, I, was, I really enjoyed it all the way through. And even knowing a little bit about it, what was going to happen, I, I really enjoyed the execution. Um, and it's fun to see, like you said, a Star Trek theme of looking at themes, but truly with a modern contemporary. Like I, you know, when I watched the '60s Star Trek, it was the '90s. It yeah. was all. It was irrelevant. A lot of it. You know. It, and I didn't know what the American Civil War was. I didn't care. You know, racism, I, I wasn't racist. So there's none of this stuff that applied to me. It was all just quaint 60s nonsense from my context. This stuff is actually, you know, very mm-hmm. easily relatable. So I really enjoyed it. And I thought, and I thought going in, I was like, when will we get an episode for The Navigator? Yeah, but this was a bad episode for his character, in my opinion. But we're going to talk about that. Yes, we are. So, first scene, um, and weird to, weird to start not on the Orville, but I absolutely love this intro. Very mm-hmm. t- just c- cliche, Nio 210, Gossip Girl, standard sort of intro of a girl, which I love. It's just, uh, but there's little hints, which I appreciate, you know, the the, the, uh, mm-hmm. the the timer, the clock, the alarm clock being different. I noticed mm-hmm. that straight away, I was like, oh, that's, is, that, is this meant to be on Earth, or is this some alien race? I was... Yeah. Uh, a little bit of... Uh, yeah, what do you think of this whole intro? Um, and then we'll just talk about the whole intro before the... Oh, it, was, yeah. it was the same thing for me. I'm like, is this happening on Earth right now? Or is Earth of the past, maybe? Um, yeah. What's going on exactly? Yep. Gotta say, I love the casting. Mm-hmm. Um, Lacella, I think is her name. Great Lacella, name. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and very pretty girl. So, mm-hmm. really enjoyed that. I like this. her um, eyes were like, they went all the way out with the makeup. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I gotta say, because... Uh, what I do is I, I watch these first to enjoy them, and then I will go back mm-hmm. and watch them to take notes. This opening part with this these guys on TV just totally glazed over for me the first time. I thought they were just politicians, just random background noise. <laughs> and with the stuff on the bottom, I really thought it was about politics, mm-hmm. and they really mm-hmm. look like they look like politicians. So I kind of ignored all that at the beginning and just listened to her conversation about her friends and. <laughs> And then going back and watching it, knowing the context yep. of the, the upvotes and the downvotes, I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But the first time, yeah, it really missed the mark for me a little bit. <laughs> well, it, uh, I noticed, it play, it noticed played, the bad right away, too. But it, it, was like, it, it played how it's meant to play. And then when you realize, it's like, oh, yeah. they were at the beginning. It, that's how you meant to watch it. But as you say, a second time. Uh, yeah, I, I knew this would be important. And I, and I was... I, I was assuming some. I was assuming it'd be something awful they did, and I appreciate the reveal when we get to that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, breakfast show, the up votes, down votes. These two characters are very awkward. She's on the phone, special sort of phone, which everyone seems to have. I guess it's just a universal. I guess everyone's on the Apple plan. <laughs> I noticed that too, but I mean, it could be a government issued phone because this is kind of their thing. The same with the badges. Yeah. Um, Although the, the as, as always, there are some. Does that really make sense? Which I'm sure we'll talk about at the end. Well, I thought it was actually pretty cohesive, considering you know creating a whole mm-hmm. new world. Yeah, and the fact that she wasn't really paying attention to what was going on, on the TV. It was just a background mm-hmm. thing, and she decided to still downvote just mm-hmm. because she didn't like the guy's eyes. Yep. Um, it says a we, lot about the culture, and it says a lot about today's society, and that's yep. really what was impactful about this episode. Well, so. it's like obviously the, the social equivalent is you know you go through scroll through Facebook, you can click like on things, and you're looking at just <laughs> yeah. the thumbnail. Oh, YouTube's better because you can click dislike. 
we see that all the time. We get dislikes and likes. And and how many people of our videos watch three minutes in say, oh, you forgot to mention this. And it's like, but we mentioned it at minute eight. If you'd waited to watch the whole video, you would see it. Absolutely, yeah. So wait. <laughs> yeah, it's really impactful for us when you think about it. Um, how, how much this talks about what we do. The likes, the dislikes, the comments, without actually paying attention to the, and, basically the content and and the you know the audience rule. If you get enough like, if you get enough views, it says the video is worth something. Doesn't necessarily mean it is. I mean yeah. we, you know, I always think that we have put so much work into these videos, uh, the ones with animations and renders and scripts, you know, all that time, and yet uh, a dog licking a bunny while wearing a hat can suddenly get fifteen million views and get the owner you know eighty thousand dollars for literally zero work. Mm -hmm. You know, so mob rules in a sense that the the upvotes, likes, the the viral nature of things, and so it's mm -hmm. funny. It was very fascinating sculpture, and we'll talk about it in a little bit. But then you get the reveal that now they're going with these armed guys, and the other guy tries to run, gets shot. Bit of a dark scene, and then goes to this room and this helmet, and he gets ten million, and goes poorly. Yeah, uh, I thought it was an execution. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. like a televised execution or something, and I'm like, mm. okay, so politics in this culture are very awful, mm -hmm. apparently. And it's a it's a M class planet with a parallel development to Earth ish. Um, yeah, and they and they mention yeah they mentioned that that there's, out of all the planets, there's got, got to be some that have parallel mm -hmm. development and are very similar, and that's mentioned in TOS as well with Miri, which is exactly is a copy of Earth basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we also learned that they're not called away teams, they're called landing teams, mm -hmm. which I liked. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. And I also really appreciated that Seth MacFarlane wasn't the lead in this one. Because he tends to be the one on the missions every time. I liked mm -hmm. that he wasn't. And this one was written by him as well, too. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, good job. That was a, that was a well written episode. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, as you, as you mentioned earlier, so two researchers had gone lost a month ago. They were doing classic pre first contact. You know, duck blind, but without the red suits and cloaking device. Although maybe later, uh, and they 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 research and they've gone missing. Oh dear! So I have to go save them, and we get the the real villain of this episode: the skinny jeans. Yeah. Yeah. If I adjust the way I'm sitting, I'm gonna give myself a vasectomy. <laughs> I love some of the little. The dialogue is is well written in this one. I thought. Um, oh yeah, very clever. And, and obviously Mercer comes in and said, "You guys could like you guys like an unemployed backup dancers." And I was like, "Not really sure what that looks like, but I love it. <laughs> I love it." It's a very Seth MacFarlane Family Guy line for sure. And to be fair, he he he, he followed up that he's too shy to wear a crop top. Otherwise, he would have gone, but crop tops mm. aren't really his thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. And of course, the same same thing that happens with Worf and with Spock. We need to cover up Alara, Alara's uh, ridges. Um, mm -hmm. So, give us an assortment of hats, and they pick the nicest one. Well, well, they, they first of all do the the cowl, which is very similar to obviously Spock in Star Trek Three. Mm -hmm. That was a nice. I mean, obviously, there's a limited stuff you can do to hide. Obviously, yeah. Or well, I guess earmuffs would be another easy one or something. Uh, well, headphones, but yeah. And then she has the hat. I appreciate this comes back later. I kind of like that as an unexpected yeah. little callback because it shows it shows that if you don't know anything about society, you can make mistakes without meaning to. Mm -hmm. the, the the ridiculous ones that are you know what he does to the statue versus the I'm just wearing something. Both both are equally as bad in this culture, but mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, and it shows you how how amazingly lucky we are in Trek that we often cause you know civil riots by wearing the wrong thing. You know, <laughs> yeah. And um, what do you think about, we're yet again mentioning Lara's love life. There's a guy named Dandy, not the same guy as last time, and she dumped him. I think it's, I think it's going to be an ongoing thing in this series about her dating. Um, and I think we're going to meet these guys eventually at some point. Um, yeah, I got dumped by Lara Club. Meet every Friday yeah. night at, at 7. <laughs> yeah, playing poker. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, obviously, that, that, we've mentioned before that could be the subtext where she kind of digs the captain. And so no guy yeah. is 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 equaling up to that. Well, but, it's funny you mentioned relationships because this is actually the first episode we get of Orville that does not mention the word divorce or imply <laughs> anything about their relationship. The the cool. captain, and the first officer, which I like because a lot of people have been griping that that's just an ongoing thing, and it it it's an important thing. 
uh, based on their dynamic. But mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. not mentioned at all in this one. I really appreciated it. <laughs> and also on the Laura relationship thing, uh, he says, do something about that nose. And she kind of has a pain look on her face. But yeah, yeah. I, think she, I think she would have forgot about it. And, and as soon as he said that, I, I looked at Sylvia and said, I wonder if it's going to be a bandage. Oh, sure well. enough. <laughs> well, well, why is that important? Do, right? <laughs> why is that important? Oh, because Akira. Yep. Uh, K- yeah, Kira has a bandage to cover up her wrinkles too. So, and of course, this is a capitalist society, so they need money, um, mm-hmm. and that's explained. You know, what's money for? Well, you give it to people, and they give you things. Do things, <laughs> um, and they seem kind of shocked by that. Well, her I mean, reaction is that's weird. Cool. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's. Pretty much every culture has started out with that, so it shouldn't be too much of a shock, really. Well, we are, we're, we're like 2400s, we're a long time past those early days. So you can imagine that if you've never mm-hmm. lived in a, if you and your parents and your grandparents didn't live in a society where there's money, you know, you wouldn't teach your grandkids about money, or your great grandkids, or hundreds of years would be more than that. So, you know, five generations of that money, you would sort of not appreciate it, apart from the history books. Yeah, it would. It would kind of be like us saying, well, if you kill an animal and you give it to somebody, you know, they'll give you stuff in exchange. You'd be like, what? Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand bartering, but why would I kill mm-hmm. something? You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Or, you know, give me, I'll give you a cow for that person, for, for my daughter, because it's a really good cow. It's like, dude. So, yeah, they go in the shuttle down, you see the, the reveal of the very, very Kira thing. And again, lovely little reference. And again, the, the vasectomy joke, which I thought was great. And an interesting little reveal there, Stuart. Ooh. Which is out of left field. Um, the shuttle's going down to the plant and then oh, yes. reveal. Engage cloaking device. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it makes sense. They don't have transporters. If they got to shuttle down to certain planets, yeah, you'd want to have a cloaking device. Um, so. I mean, but it makes sense. If you're going to have a cloak, you know, you need to have something that can hide you. Although that tells me that there's a secondary cloak shuttle, which is the guys that visit the planet because they mm-hmm. came on a ship they landed they've got a cloak shuttle but I, I did not expect them to have this technology and does that mean the Orville herself has a cloak because you would think it would have come in useful by now I thought the same thing mm-hmm. but maybe maybe it'll be revealed that they do later I don't know maybe it's only it works on smaller vessels who knows yeah, I was about to say maybe it literally is uh, the size of the vessel the amount of people maybe it's directly linked to that so you can cloak the teeny things which makes sense for stealth missions but the Orville is just too big because that'd be a nice mm-hmm. limitation, actually. You know, the field destabilizes at a certain size. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I was a bit like, okay, so we haven't got transporters, but we have got cloak, we have got torpedoes, phasers, tractor beams, all these cool things. So that was kind of like a throw out. But I, I'm sure that might come in useful now. Now they've just thrown it in there that mm-hmm. didn't really impact the story. I feel like that's now been a setup for episode 8. Well, the episode eight's next one, like episode 13, when they have to do, use it for something else. Mm-hmm. Possibly, yeah. Uh, and then the next scene where they're on the planet, uh, very similar to Earth development. Mm-hmm. So much so that all the cars, they even have Chevy on this planet. They have, they have Chevy, a Chevy Cruze, same car as one in my driveway. That's pretty close parallel development, I'm telling you. Hey, a but good design is a good design. It's just, I guess. <laughs> um, but this scene I really liked because you really, this is where the upvotes and the downvotes is like, yeah. oh, oh, okay, that's what yeah. those badges are. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd just be tapping my upvote thing all the time. Well, that that brings in more questions. No, I, I, I really love these three. It wasn't, they weren't too much. They were nicely acted. They were nice bits of like subsections of day-to-day life, which I, I really liked. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it must be a, like a, a, sen- I mean, a sensor thing that it needs to be someone else that touches it and they can only touch it once per cycle per day because oh, maybe yeah you know uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's hugely advanced for what it is I mean, it's also linking to this n- network that people can downvote you from across the world mm-hmm. y- you know we'd be but... screwed samuel <laughs> we would have a lot of downvotes and a lot of votes it's okay yeah which i want to bring up later as well but you know, i really like these three scenes and the grandma what a cute little yeah, and I was looking for a badge on the little girl, yep. which gets explained later. She mm-hmm. doesn't have one, yep. uh, which makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> but I like that you, you got it really from the teaching perspective. It's like, if she did something good, you praise her with an upvote. Mm-hmm. But you're right. Why wouldn't your family, you know, you made a great roast today, upvote. You made a great lunch today, upvote. You know, you, 
it's such an easy system to abuse. And if that was that small a thing, like get your grandma buying you dessert, you know? Mm -hmm. So, it, and, and, and if a child can do it, could a baby do it? Could you, you know, could you ask all your four year kids to do it? And the thing I said to Sylvia too, this is the perfect cosplay for any convention. Get a badge. <laughs> you can wear anything you want and a badge. I'm brilliant. cosplaying. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. No, I love it. And it's going to be uh, a thing. You know it is. You're going to see these so. conventions. That's awesome. Yeah. And then we just upvote them. <laughs> so you got to go to Comic Con, see how many upvotes you can get. Just make it. I mean, come on, it's an easy thing to work, isn't it? Just uh, yeah. two counters. That's great. <laughs> I like that. But I'm anyway. sure, though, this society is nothing new. No one, everyone's been socialized. You know, he, the, the yeah. lady, the, the main lady would say, said her parents taught her this. So it's at least two generations, but I'm assuming it's three or four or five or six. They're, obviously, they've been society trained to, to yes and to give and not give in certain contexts. You know, um, it's just well, something that you learn through time. Yeah. Yeah. So we get the great context of the society. Love it. Um, I just want to point out, you know the guy that bumps into with the uh, coffee? Mm -hmm. He has 66,613 dislikes, but 309,000 upvotes. So clearly mm -hmm. a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, cool. Clearly, you can see who's good and who's bad. He's, you know, five times, oh. six times as good as he is bad. So, didn't mean to do that. Yeah. So they show these uh, pictures to just an average magazine vendor, which I really liked. Very simple, very easy, good scene. And and, and again, I felt like he writes normally. It's a very realistically written episode. Mm -hmm. You know, everything plays out well. This guy just happens to have four badges that, you know, illegal black market badges that he can get with preload 200,000. That's a pretty nice person already. Um, and then we get the whole statue scene talking about, oh my God. Well, they're talking about uh, Alora's oh, her dating life, sorry. <laughs> and then she, her dancing life, in fact. <laughs> yeah. She did. She dumped him because he danced funny, and wow. he's like, "I don't know why you would do this." What? Like I, it would make more sense to do it to like her than to the statue, in my opinion. Well, you're you're, you're friends with her. You're just goofing around, going like in front of. You know, he does take it a little bit too far, even very even much. <laughs> That's why I think this is a bad episode for that character. I understand that he's kind of like that, and him and his other helm buddy um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are kind of goofy but this really makes him look like a freaking asshole most of this episode does uh just the way he takes the whole situation he doesn't take anything seriously everything's a joke i really people like that really bother me like you got to realize at some point that you're doing something dumb well we'll talk about the situation first for the audience who might not have seen it and then we'll jump back to it so what does he actually do well he's up on the statue and he's grinding away going you know this cut is this kind of grinding or this kind of grinding and everybody's starting to get video and mm -hmm. i mean obviously it's a statue it's obviously somebody important you don't know the context you don't know the culture why in god's name would you do that to a statue do it to a pole find a pole nearby i mean uh, again there are a million statues for a million for a million different reasons i know but you don't make a statue for somebody that, that's what he says later that's not important well and you could really be offending somebody, especially when you don't understand the culture or the situation that you're in. It just, it's a really incompetent thing yeah, to he, do. He's obviously used to the utopian future where no one would bat an eyelid, puff and be what an arse. True. You know, the, the, the extreme, that, there was no reason to assume he'd have the extreme of a, death, you know, of a basic death sentence at the end for doing this. He's just being him. He, he's, he, was, he was in the zone. I don't know if he yeah. was trying to, I don't know if he was trying to say, because this whole, you know, they, uh, broke up with him because he's too grindy. Yeah. Is he? Does he maybe like her? Is that what he's maybe saying? Like, nah, maybe. girl. Maybe. You know, because he's showing you this. Because I kind of got that little vibe. It's like, no, I can do good, you know. We, we have chemistry. Yeah. Uh, which is why and I might have taken it too far because he was trying to, like... Oh, could be. Sh ...show off but be fun for her. Yeah, and I love how Grayson's, like, just stop, like, ordering him to stop. This is... With those going. eyes. she... Because she mm -hmm. understands the situation like I would. Like, you don't know what the statue's about. Don't do this and there's this many people around. Like, yeah. uh, and he's not listening to his commanding officer. I just, like I said, this isn't great character development for him. We were looking forward to an episode about him, but this is really bad, in my yeah. opinion. I like how easy this situation came about because it's very relatable. It's just, it's your, if he was drunk, it would have been better, you know? It's that, it's that one friend of yours that does something a bit stupid, whoops, it's bigger than you think. Like, mm -hmm. that's a very relatable situation. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, for that to be his character episode is like he's a bit of a dumbass. That's his character episode. It's like oh well, it's not really a character then, is it? It's just a, a trait rather than mm. a character. You know. Mm-hmm. Although I liked him in it, I will say that I do like him in it. In it. Oh yeah, I do too. Um, but it it and I'll get into something else later. But it certainly wasn't his best. But it was nice for him to be front and center a bit. But anyway, so everyone's taking video. Uh, I, I like the shots, the way they're doing it, very sort of relatable. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're in this coffee shop, and I, I really like this scene because, and again, if you second viewing, this episode has a lot more in its second viewing. Mm-hmm. Um, and they specifically mention uh, the level of waste uh, in the reservoir is a lot. You can't deny facts. Seventy-four percent of the population has voted that it's false, and facts are facts. And it's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mm. Really appreciate that sort of just interesting. Interesting scene, and then you get this lady, and what happens with this lady, and and was it tape? I, mean, I really appreciate the, the world building in this episode. They do take their time mm-hmm. to 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 savor it. But mm-hmm. what was this uh, next bit? Well, I, re- I read the sign because uh, yeah. obviously it's important. Uh, we yeah. do not serve anyone above five hundred thousand down votes, no exceptions. And then the lady comes in and she wants to buy a tea, but she's got just over she's got four, five five hundred and forty thousand down votes. And she even says, you know, most of those happened in my 20s. You know, you do stupid stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's pretty harsh, really. You should be able to, like, apply to get these down or something. I don't know. Because people do stupid things. But if I knew that this was going to stick with me for life, damn. <laughs> I would try to be smarter. Well, it's living with consequences, isn't it? I mean, 540,000. And given that other people have, you know... Far, far, far less. And I mean, the, what's interesting there is that it, compared to her light, like her up votes, if her up votes were like a million, her down votes were 540, showing she's old enough to have had a life. But that's a lot of, you know, she was a bad egg because that difference is huge, mm-hmm. you know? That's why I was so surprised by the guy that got the coffee. He, is, he was much, much, much nicer, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so she must have done some really bad stuff. But it's, yeah, it's really interesting that the culture would shun you that much. But it, it's, it's an interesting indicator of who you are. But it means you can't change. Whatever you've done sticks with you, especially since anyone can decide to up and down vote for any, for any reason. And we see that in a minute for the silliest of reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really interesting as a society. And yeah, it's kind of, it kind of felt sad for her because she's older now and she mm-hmm. just wants a cup of tea. But I mean, just make it yourself at home. I'm sure the supermarket will still serve you. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, then our heroes come in. Yay! And she, she fancies them quite a bit, so she clicks the up vote. Just yeah. Because. But was it's not too forward, though. Was that a little forward? I don't know. She could click, That's... like I said, she could click my upvote anytime. I'm a drag person. Sorry. It, was, it was a great Tinder reference in a sense. It's like, I instantly swipe, but in person. But imagine if you went to a coffee bar and you talk to somebody and they just click like on you and you're thinking, ah, oh, is it friendly or more? Instantly you know there's a, something there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she was a bit, you know, she liked him. Like, I like, there was a very cheeky little moment that I appreciate. It. it just shows you how fickle society is. Because every 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 time we see something like this, it's to show the society and to give us more texture. You know, mm-hmm. I really like those details. Um, and so yeah, they ask about this, this, this these people. She knows who they are, but she's not telling them because who cares? This happens pretty much every day in a sense. And then suddenly, the badge goes from <laughs> you know ten thousand something. Yeah, it goes from uh, one hundred fifteen thousand to three hundred thousand in, in very very short time. Things are going bad, Stuart. What's uh, what, what's happening? <laughs> On the t- television behind him, they got his badge number, and they have the video of him humping the statue. Uh, that that's that's wow, instant kind of karma. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, so yeah, that's it. It shows you how important this. I mean, we know this, this statue is really important. It shows this probably is like you know for, for England, it's like for England, it's like Winston Churchill. You know, you wouldn't disrespect Winston Churchill who saved England and you know a lot because of the world. You know, uh, for World War Two. So it's it you know. That would go viral, um, but yeah, really instant and already at five hundred thousand in like less than three minutes, and they've only been out. But that shows how many people and just... this is going to go bad, Stuart. And we can see a few seconds later, there's amazing shots of paparazzi, average people, the the cell phone culture, mm-hmm. just video, wonderful commentary, and you know there's, there's those great pictures. You go to a, a music concert, used to be lighters, now what are those lights? It's thousands of smartphones recording the thing while they're actually enjoying it yourself. And I really appreciate the every and it's every single person's recording. Every single person, yeah. basically. 
And it's yeah. and one of the the uh, themes in this episode is mob mentality. I mean, mob mentality is not a good thing. Stupidity is exemplified a thousandfold when you're in a in a crowd, and uh, yeah, it's just not a good way to run a society, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, you can see the, that kind of effect here with the uh, crowding around them as, as they come out of the uh, out of the uh, the shop there. So, a lot of great visuals in this one. Um, mm-hmm. And he reaches the million within like literally fifteen minutes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeesh. I want to jump back one second. There's a joke that I missed that I didn't talk about. I just thought it was really funny mm-hmm. about the nose. What happened to your nose? And then she says, "Do you have a septum?" And uh, Kelly says, <laughs> she "No, she was a coke addict." Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah, it's stupid. <laughs> just like it. Yeah. Fun. Anyway. Yep. Um. So the next scene we see um, Mercer talking to uh, Admiral Tucker. Mm-hmm. And as usual, admirals are dicks. And I would just be so simple just to pull them out, just get them out of there. And this goes back to the TNG episode with Wesley where he falls in the flower garden mm. and he's going to be yep, yep, yep. punished. Um, That's just, very similar, isn't it? Just yeah. less nakedness. Yeah, un- unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so it's a bikini planet, Stuart. <laughs> Like this would have solved the situation right then and there. Just yeah. get him out of there as quickly as you can, mm-hmm. and they they have an unexplained mystery. Where'd this guy go? Nobody knows. Who cares? Um, yeah, I'm kind know. of surprised. If you've got a cloaked shuttle, just run to the shuttle. Yeah, you get in the shuttle, you leave, you get a reprimand. Or just send him it. back, and you, the other ones can stay and do finish the mission. Yeah. Or another team in like a week when no one cares anymore. Yeah. It, I, I did feel like it was they. It was surprising how by the book he was, but they didn't, they didn't know the repercussions yet. Obviously, yeah, but it's, but, it's just uh, uh, it'll do more damage able, to stay. Obviously, yeah, it bothered me. That bothered me in the TNG episode too. Like, who cares about this planet's laws when you don't? I don't know. I have a real issue with that. Get get the hell out of there and just let them deal with it. Your disappearance on their own. Anyway. But yeah, so he's told not to do anything. Oh dear. Um, and so now we get this great scene where mm. he gets his lawyer. Well, oh. actually a lawyer. <laughs> Publicity officer. What do you think about this whole scene and and, and uh, <laughs> explanation of the plot, really? Well, it's awesome. It's like a legal aid kind of office where, you know, you get in trouble and you get advice. It's basically like a lawyer, but free kind of thing. Um and I appreciated how nice the guy was. Yeah, like he he could have hated the the guy, but no, he was totally. And I also appreciated yeah. the subtleties in the suit, the double lapel, and the the different way they tied their ties. Um, similar to oh. Earth, but very different. Uh, but the double lapel oh, looks yeah. really really nice. I didn't notice uh, that. That's brilliant. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, just little subtleties in the tie. Even later on, uh, John's great. tie. Yeah. Oh. Um. So anyway, they and also, talk. Oh, sorry. I also like the actor. He's in a lot of great things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, hey, great, great guest star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't he's been in specifically that I love, but I know he's been in lots of stuff that I like. I know he's been in Stargate at some point. Oh, yeah, he's Major Hayes in Star Trek. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's funny. In 24. Yes, someone knows IMDb right that's, now. <laughs> that's why I recognized him. Okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I mean, you've oh, seen him in a thousand things, but yeah, there you go. It's a nice reference. Yeah. Um, and so this is where we get introduced or t- told about the master feed, which is the internet, essentially. Yeah. The yeah. whatever. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, learn about the publicity tour. Yeah, basically. Apology it, tour. Yeah, basically, he's he's done a wrong, and and he explains, explains you know, it. this is the mob mentality. This is people think you've done a wrong. Well, people, we have done a wrong, but because you've got so many people re- reacting to it, we've now got to deal with you, and now you've got to apologize. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you get lebotomized. And the guy doesn't take it seriously at all. And I love his complete... Again, it's what would happen. It's like... No, I, I think, you know, it just sounds so stupid. And obviously he... Because, there, like you said, it's one planet of millions. You know, it doesn't... It shouldn't matter, in a sense. The ship hmm. can just come get you. It's fine. You, it's almost like a holodeck, in a sense. It... You know, I've, I've lived in a more civilized society that's 500 years ahead of you. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. I'm going to laugh. But it's like... Yeah, but... But we know this situation is real. We know these people are going to have repercussions. We know he might get lobotomized. But I understand that to a point, but he takes it too far. He really doesn't take it seriously at all. At that point, I'd be like, okay, tell me what's going on. 
Like I wouldn't be so. But he does get to that about it. He does well, get he... to that after the the threat part. I know, but it took him a little too long, in my opinion. Yeah, he just seems like somebody that. Oh, I don't know. It, I did, he, it, like again. He, character he's the really sort of guy me. that drinks soda on the bridge. You know, he's that sort of guy. I, th- I write that down later. You know, if it's almost like there's no Starfleet kind of discipline here. Because any oh, yeah, any absolutely. any Starfleet officer wouldn't have had this problem really, because they would have listened to Grayson when she was saying "get down from there." Wouldn't mm-hmm. have been so open and public about it, being an, a- an asshole. Um, but I think I think they kind of explain that with with his character from the beginning. He wants soda on the bridge and things like that. So it's kind of a more laid back look at his his uh, place in the yeah. union. So yeah. I love the explanation. I love the world building here. Mm-hmm. And then they go and see him. They explain it. He's a bit more serious now. <laughs> I love when he explains what actually happened to them. And he tries to get out. And he bangs off. Space man. <laughs> yeah, that's a... That, I like that recurring little joke. It's like, he's trying. That's what I would be doing. I'm like, I, I'm, not, yeah. I'm better than you. I'm not from here. Hello, I can go anytime. <laughs> yeah, no, I can I, I relate to this. I was like, this is what you think they could do in the sort of TOS episodes. Like, kind of wish they would act realistically and I, I kind of like the they didn't go too far with that I, I thought and then I was kind of surprised how deep we got into it here we have chat show a full on chat show I was like well, we're really getting into this now oh, yeah and the, the chat here equals the view yeah, come on yeah. the ladies yeah <laughs> yeah I was hoping to get like one of them as a cameo or something I was expecting to be a bit more literal but yeah um, and they go through the situation their bias is clear although again if you think mm. how many people are being judged because every, every, every time we see these people on the news, they are judging someone else. So I'm assuming this is a daily, by daily mm-hmm. thing. So they, and they only get people on their show, in this context, if they're done bad. So obviously they're going to get used to judging them negatively because they've done bad things. Um, but they, they were obviously have specials where they focus on the good people. I don't know. But they're obviously pre-biased. And when she walked out, when he walked out, she pressed the button. What a be, you know, bleak oh, well, move. I, yeah, I wanted to slap her. I'm like that. <sighs> but again, if Could... he was a murderer. I mean, just because we know we didn't mean to, you know, a murderer is a murderer. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, mm-hmm. you're gonna care if she slaps him in the face if you kill ten people. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and here too, here too, we get to see the the difference in the uh, the suit and the tie. Very unique oh, yeah. tie. Uh, double everything. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks really cool. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like cool. the double lapels. It's really slick, in my opinion. But I love that. Yeah. Now this is the point where they're watching it on the bridge. Uh, I'm thinking now now would make perfect sense to start hacking the system. And I thought they were going to mention that here because that's the first thought that popped into yes. my mind. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and that was no. that was an obvious resolution as well. Um, but it made sense. That's it's a technologically based system. Yeah. Do you have a spaceship? Yeah. Although one little thing I don't know if you noticed I I didn't until I just zoomed in. Uh, when they lo- actually look at the screen and they read some of the tweets, the equivalent of tweets, don't need people like him in our society. Like him, no space. Mm. Punctuation. People don't care. They're just typing. Mm-hmm. That's a nice little touch. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I specifically did go back in and read some of these notices. So did I. Yeah. Did you notice what they were doing? No. What are you, what are you getting at exactly? A lot of re- it's the same, like seven or eight repeated for most of the show. Until oh. the end, when they have some custom ones, it's like, and it is the same damn people, the same names again, oh, again, is it? again. Yeah, that I didn't. It, notice. I, I, later, when they're trying to get to the te- or stop the ten million, I'm reading some of the positive ones. You know, yeah. there are worse people out there. Yeah. Why are we focusing on this guy? I'm sure he feels sorry because I wasn't sure what they were saying as it was going on. But then we have screen caps we can look. Because D- Darlan, I noticed a lot. Biggest. Uh, uh, I mean, Darlan quotes twice in this thing. There's, Came uh, Flasser or Filsa, Fasser, Fursa. It's two. Yeah, but it's the same like nine, ten repeating because you're not meant to mm. be that close and zoom in. Um, but yeah. I like some of the custom ones later on. But we'll go into it later. Um, so here we find out it's like trial by American Idol, <laughs> and Bordas asks what's American Idol, and we find out find out no no the Bordas sings. Can't Although, wait. I, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, so they go back to the coffee shop. They try and talk to the girl, and then um, th- th- wrong hat. It's not a hat. Sorry, it's uh, pelvic it's, headwear. Yes, which I thought was really interesting. I read a review online, so that's t- random and didn't add anything. What do you think about this whole little sub scene? 
I thought, oh god, here we go. She's going to get the same kind yeah. of thing happening to her. Yeah. Um, but the way they handled it was good. They're like, get, mm-hmm. let's get her out of here. But it was interesting. Yeah, the wrong wrong choice of headwear. Um, somebody's going to call you out on it. You know, it's the religious thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you're pissing on my culture by wearing mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Uh, something you wouldn't think of necessarily when you're mm-hmm. dressing for a culture you don't understand. Yep. So yeah, it was very interesting. I liked it. Well, well, I wonder how on earth you could tell she wasn't one. Yeah, whatever I they were. The same thing. He's just white guy, man. She's just white girl, woman. And nobody else is batted an eye or looked twice at her. For yeah. Doing it. And she was right beside John when they were all videotaping him coming out of the coffee shop. So. Yeah, I mean, he might be just very, very uppity. Upp- yeah, exa- exactly. Uh, and, and obviously, it brings about the scene where they go to the restroom, reveal of alien. So it was a nice A to B, and yeah, added something. Um, yeah. And uh, we're not going to hurt you. We're just two nice people. They're going to buy you a drink. And boy, does she drink that drink. <laughs> that red wine goes down pretty quick. Um, yeah, great, great, great first contact with a millennial blogger person of an alien race. Like, it was a really, again, very, very nicely played set mm-hmm. of scenes here. Um, mm-hmm. I think everyone did well in this episode. Yeah. And she's like, can you shoot laser beams out of your eyes or anything? No, but I can do this. Wow. <laughs> Just so yeah. subtle, but so awesome. And then we get the reveal. First of all, we'll close with this phone thing, with a single... Anyway, weird design. And we get the reveal of what the people did at the start. They got him lobotomized. What do you think of this little reveal? I thought this is where the society, this whole construct falls apart. Because, yeah, there's one misunderstanding, and you get the mob mentality again. Mm-hmm. All the negative people are very vocal. Mm-hmm. And the ones that support you, the ones that are the good people, are usually not Common as sense vocal. Ones, yeah, are not as vocal. They tend to keep their yep. opinions to themselves. Absolutely. So this mob mentality for this kind of procedure doesn't work. It's I'm sure everybody is entitled to their opinion, as she says later. Everybody has a right to you know put in their vote, but not everyone does. And it's the negativity that outweighs the positive in most instances. Um, and it's a whole mob mentality thing, and that's why this doesn't work. Because that's just silly. But that's the genius of it. It is. The social commentary. <laughs> is. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. It was, it was such an amazingly simple thing, and it's just one of those weird viral things. And it's clever and simple, and not what I thought. But, the, yeah, I liked it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it shows that you need to understand the culture of... And also, don't pick the nerdiest guys to go down, maybe. Because they like this. <laughs> They're socially awkward anyway. Maybe not the best guys to know about social stuff. Just saying. Well, yeah. But those are the same kind of guys that are in that kind of position. Because that's their career, right? So, yeah. And just like the botany that hurt this guy, he's now a vegetable. But still reasonably functioning. Just not really, really. Yeah. Mm. Not much to say about that. But, nope. uh... Next scene here uh, is another talk show, another apology tour thing. Uh, comes out like he's, you know, yeah. Cor- he was told know. to though. In a sense, he was he was encouraged to be yeah friendly. Just but you hit like- the audience, and it's it's one of those things where you try to be likable, you try to do the right thing, and it just somebody takes it the wrong way and yep. just puts a spin on it, and all of a sudden everybody yep. else is jumping on the bandwagon. And it's like mm-hmm. ah, seriously stop. <laughs> or, or it's the the little culture of you know we associate being out with friendly. Whereas they just see it as you just hit our entire audience. But both are right. But why judge him for how you thought he did it when he didn't mean that way? Yeah. You know, he, he was actually making an effort there, you know? And mm-hmm. I loved how it, like every other chat show, you know, the, the, the Conan O'Brien, all that stuff, there's just... Didn't he sound like Tom Tucker, but a little bit different, the, the actor? I kept thinking, is it a, is it a inside joke? Probably, yeah. Because it... Because I don't think it is. I had a, a Google, and he's not. But I hope he was. <laughs> It'd be fun if he was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he gets more down votes, of course, and then yeah, he does. Then we get back on the ship, and she's scanning him with the tricorder. Apparently, the correction is not reversible, uh, which is awful. That shows he must have really melted his brain. Yeah, because earlier she said they're 21st century, century yep. level technology. They can't do that kind of stuff right now. Uh, mm-hmm. So I need to be able to study. We'll do it safely. Yes, yes. Um, they do it completely the opposite, yeah. Yeah. So and, and at this point, I, just, I wrote, why not just pull John out at this point? 
because you know it's going bad. It's he's not mm-hmm. gonna. Now I would now I would I would override the admiral's wishes and get my crewmen out of there. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? He gets a fine, you know, a, a slap on the wrist. I mean, you just saved the guy's life. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. Yeah, no, I agree. But then he um, realizes the one thing that we can do is to bring. Mm. We can't send someone down, but we can bring someone up. And who do we bring except our friend? And I love the CG shot where it pans in and we get to see the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's lovely. Then we see some lovely shots of the Orville. I think those are the physical miniatures. I think that's the. He doesn't have to move very much, so we can use a physical miniature again. Yeah, that sort of vibe. Because it's too nice. At this point, I wrote down 21st century technology level. Where are the satellites? Because they're pretty low in orbit. Um, and even in Star Trek Four, they're like mm. we're visible to the you know satellites or it's technology of the time. So they cloaked. Not a big thing. Not a big thing at all. I'm but. sure they have just jammers. I mean, as easy as that. You know, you don't have to cloak it, but you can jam. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate she brings out the phone and then. Takes it straight away, and I double appreciate if you actually look in the phone, there is actually a picture of the Orville mm-hmm. being recorded, um, mm-hmm. which I thought was a nice touch. They didn't need to do that necessarily, but it ne- it should have been there, so it was there. Yeah. Um, I think there was actually a camera in those. I think she just put a phone inside of a case because in other parts of the episodes you do see actually what's being in mm-hmm. front of them, which as a digital effect is very annoying. But you could just put a phone inside of a thing and then just yeah. do it for real. So yeah. I really appreciated that. Um, not that there's really a spaceship there, but. <laughs> So what are the odds that you're going to find these phone cases at conventions now too? You can have your real, your actual phone look like one of these phones and a badge. Perfect cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And give yourself like 11 million dislikes. <gasps> or 11 million likes. What happened then? The queen? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so yeah, they have this meeting and I really appreciated the social commentary. Everyone just says it like straightforwardly, bluntly, and both points of view are, I think, represented very fairly. Mm-hmm. I would agree. Please watch that scene, you know. Yeah, and we need pretzels and water when we have guests on board, don't you know? That's fine. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate that. It's like, well, it, you know, the, I think uh, Isaac said, this is the only true democracy we've ever seen. Everyone get, actually gets a voice. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean everyone should get the voice, but we sort of want them to, but we sort of shouldn't. Yeah, Borda says that, you know, and not everybody, your voice should be earned well. Yes. And she's confused. But then if you choose the wrong yeah. person. I mean, anyway, they finally get to the conclusion that I came up with halfway through the episode. Yeah. Either get John the hell out of there or hack the yeah. system. Yep. Um, and this is absolutely fantastic the way they do this. Um, it is really fun. Yeah. All right. So here we get to see some of the positive uh, things that is in there. Just heard John Lamar got um, back from service, reunited with his dog, all this stuff. He takes care of his mother. He was a fat kid, uh, <laughs> which I loved. I think that's an actual picture of the actor, too, this little scrawny kid. Can you make him fat? <laughs> it's just a slider. It's yeah. just a damn slider. <laughs> yeah. Really human, really nice touches. And I love the 3D recreation, the internal holodeck yeah. that they've released of the dog really cute and gives the guy more screen time although if you note if you actually look at the scrolling thing the very first time we see the scrolling even before the grandma scene mm-hmm. it goes grandma fat dog mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they already talk about the dog yeah i know i noticed that too the continuity is a bit awful there but come on it's a really annoying thing to have to have to do i, I wouldn't want uh, yeah, to be that and i thought too with the military thing they could screw that up by saying the wrong war or something and have it backlash on them like you got to be careful with that you know but, whether, but, was it the vietnam war that people supported or yep. that didn't support like mm-hmm. you you got to be careful and i'm like Ugh. <laughs> but that's why i loved he just said awkwardly i'm back from this war <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, yeah. i just look uh, call out a couple of little negative ones um mm-hmm. liar you know who else wants humped a statue my ex dirtbag ex-boyfriend oh my god he makes me feel unsafe. Cannot believe the disrespect. An ideal correction candidate. Weed chair... <laughs> Ooh, I hate dogs. <gasps> what? Weed chaired dog puncher last week. Let's chair him too. <laughs> <laughs> Screw Super this guy. Do- Screw everyone he knows. Vile. Uh, Ooh, I hate dogs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, some really nice... I love the variation on these ones. Um, he, it's fine. He's just having fun. He has an honest face. Don't think he yeah. meant wrong. Chuckles, we must save Chuckles, Dad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> love it. 
So this is awesome. And then it comes down to the wire. Basically, it's Mm -hmm. scrolling up to 10 million and it stops at 9,999,996 for short. And I'm like, are you kidding me? At least it wasn't 999 was the end. I I like the beat, the beat of the click with the tension. I mean, you obviously knew it was going to survive. I appreciate that they played it up into the wire, but not perfectly. Uh, And I I, like he also made it did manage to get 2.8 million likes. So good job. Yeah, but you can see, you know, still momentum though. Yeah. I love the fact here too that she says that no one will bother co- co- yes. corroborating what she what they say, and that's so yeah. true in today's world. You read something, you just assume it's true. You don't do any research. Um, yep, got to fact check these things, but no one does, so it worked out. Yeah, thanks for mentioning that. That was a, again another little note mm. because I mean anyone can write anything, mm-hmm. and anyone can share anything. Anything can go viral. Um, I like how. Uh, the, the the lady the alien lady says how how can you hack in babe spaceship spaceship yeah <laughs> like yeah should have yeah. done this from the beginning but oh well oh well um yeah. and I, I I love the actor the major Hayes' reaction he's like oh, oh like this does not happen but he was like wow yeah what a reprieve because I, I I'm always kind of surprised how they didn't they didn't hack the like they didn't stop the down votes they just tried to give up votes like it was a really weird hack yeah i would have i would have squashed the da- the down voting a bit just dampened yeah. it like like yeah. stop it at eight million or something rather than actually leaving it to the people because two more things over or f- four or five more things over someone clicks a button he's gone i mean don't leave it to chance as much as you did guys you're a spaceship from 500 years in, in their future of mm-hmm. technology um yeah. and then then after he's like Basically, you know, his boom, boom, baby kind of attitude. Uh, this disrespect at the end, I wouldn't do. I would be very humble at this point because all it takes well, is one of those guards to go down vote. That's why I, I was expecting them to say, well, you've just been harsh. Bleep, bleep. Yeah. I'm only two away. I've got to go. Like, yeah, cause yeah. Don't be disrespectful like that when you've come that close to the wire. Just be humble. Get the hell out of there. This is again, this is more character that I didn't like from him. Yep. Sure, he's brash and he's young and stupid. I mean, when you're young, you think you're invincible. Trust me, the older you get, you realize you're not. Um, but I still, his character really kind of bothers me in this episode. He needs to be a little bit more humble. Yeah, this last beat would have been better if he'd left and, like, said, Kelly, we've got to go. Like, he starts to run out or something. The dude, the, the lawyer, non lawyer, is looking back at the executioner and, and you just hear from the background, Woo! Yeah, bitch! Yeah. yeah. And they're like looking at each other thinking, well, he's happy. Like, that's all reaction. Yeah. Um, so they leave, and you get a similar scene to the first scene. Uh, another person is doing another thing. He's at 6 million down votes, so clearly another big situation. And uh, she t- chooses to click off instead when they, mm-hmm. they tell her to, to you know, choose something better. You know, think about things and, mm-hmm. and maybe, uh, yeah, think. Yeah. It's, if you don't know the situation, don't bother clicking dislike. Just turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. So, overall, what'd you think of the episode? I know you liked it, so yeah, what would you rate I, it? I, I, nine. Nine and a bit. Nine point three. Yeah, I thought it was, it was a very, very strong episode for, 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 again, the show did what it does best. It used a, you know, like a, a Trek concept because everything's been done in sci fi now, but mm-hmm. Orville it. Very good commentary, very good production value, very well realized. Again, they realized the concepts very well. Very little CG, a lot of practical stuff. Mm-hmm. Great society they created, very relatable. Yeah, I mean, like I said, very, you know, almost flawless. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Almost could be a two parter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, again, mm-hmm. if Laura had, have, you know, what I mean, if Laura had been taken and whatever, it could have been yeah. done, two yeah. part or something, uh, have even more context. But yeah, it was excellently done. Yeah, well. Okay, well, I would give it probably like seven and a half, eight at the most. Uh, like I said, yeah. I, I love seeing new science fiction concepts, new ships, new things like that. Uh, so this was very much like, look, there's my cruise. Yay! Modern, <laughs> futuristic society for another planet. Uh, so well, it's, like, it's, it's, it's a piece of the action. Yeah, exactly. This you is know, this yeah. is a more story driven episode than effects yeah. or whatever. So, mm-hmm. uh, and it was a great story. And like I said, I've said a few times throughout this. I personally can really relate to this because negative comments on our stuff or on my Facebook, mm-hmm. negative comments are what really bother me. 
and they seem to, you know, the positive ones I kind of ignore, um, even though I get more positive than negative. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's just that mob mentality. You, people lock onto something and just go roll with it, and it just never turns out well. Uh, so, yeah, I can relate to lots of the episode, but I still, I, I'm going to give it an 8 at the most. Um, hey, 8 still pretty damn good. That beats a lot yeah. of episodes of, of Orville. Yeah, I just thought it was, if that's what they're trying to do, I thought it was very well executed. Mm -hmm. And as a, as a as a back back from the break, I mean, I enjoyed that more than the the ship in a bottle episode. You know, that in a mm -hmm. sense, I thought that payoff was weaker in the character. They spent more time wasting time. This they didn't spend any time wasting time. I felt in this episode, everything mm -hmm. was there for a reason. Everything added context. Um, yeah, yeah. Good there job. you go, guys. So. Are you going to upvote this video or downvote this video? You better upvote this video because it was oh, awesome. Oh, damn it. I forgot the one thing I was going to jump back to. 10 million people is all it takes to get them killed, in a sense. Oh, yes. If the population is several billion, 10 million is nothing. Mm -hmm. So either it's a really small population, so that actually matters. You could get 10 million naysayers. You can get 10 million people that hate Big Bang Theory mm -hmm. to say, don't bring it back. But guess what? There's also 100 million that love it that might not be bothered to, you know... Mm -hmm. 10 well, million seem, it seems so easy and so quick and for that to be a number that's not that many people yeah exactly yeah. and the, the statue of the lady was somebody that was important to that country they said specifically yeah so, people in other countries why are they not yeah so we don't that know, city that are up voting you know? yeah I think it would be more of a country wide vote kind of than planet wide but yeah that's interesting um, and like I said earlier about third world countries do they have the badges mm -hmm. is that a thing I mean, is it, is it a global thing? Because that would, that would imply that this planet's pretty much unified if they all have mm -hmm. this kind of... Uh, but and, and again, 10 million is nothing. Just very if, it, if it's a planet, if it's a unified whatever. Um, yeah, and, and it just amazed me that he got so few up, like, you know, up votes. People are, so, mm -hmm. people are so used to being negative or people just don't care. That's the impression. I mean, if, if, if daily people are getting done in by this people just lose interest people don't want that to happen you know if, if you're only it's like politics if if you know this this party is probably going to win you know to get the other party to win you need an extra 50 percent of the vote your one vote will not make any difference so if you vote yes for a person that's got 9.6 million versus 2 million your up won't mean anything so why bother mm -hmm. you know, if you, well, you've already failed to save 50 people whereas a thousand people that want to be vindictive just click no for the sake of it. So mm. the and a lot a lot of people that uh, they they don't want to be if, if if the majority is saying one thing they don't want to oppose them even though that's what they're thinking because as mm -hmm. soon as they do that they're going to get attacked personally. Uh, that's another thing that you see all the time too. Uh, so a lot of people just go with the flow and just hit what you know um, or, is or popular. It, or it's like a homeless person just walk on. You have nothing mm -hmm. to help or anything to harm. You just walked on. So those people would think, "Why well, can't we do anything either way?" Yes. Just don't do anything. So the the votes. So I was just kind of. It seems very small when you think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. ten million is 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 like it hasn't New York or Los Angeles or just a single city, a, mm -hmm. you know, a, a bigger version of the city. But you know what I mean. These things have huge amounts of people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Last thought. There you go. Perfect. So upvote this video, guys. Click yes. that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from us. we got lots of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. No new ships to look at for Marvel this week. But, you know, maybe next week I'll be but ship packed. The, you know. the shuttle can cloak. And we would not have believed you if you told us when we looked at the sh shuttle originally. Because that would be like, really? Okay. Yeah. Pop brains and cloak. What more do you want? Do everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything on a Sunday, anyway. And if you want to support this show, you can help us out on Patreon, a monthly donation scheme you a little bit each every month, or a lot every single month that goes to the production of this show, all the shows, all the reviews, and all the channel things we do for you guys to enjoy, or a one-time donation at trekkills.com, click that donate button and give a little bit, whatever you want. It's all a thank you for what we do and want to continue to do with all these episodes of Orville Discovery and more, we'll see. Or just share this show and all the shows where you think fans will enjoy it, that really helps us as well. Alright, so guys... Until next time, I'm Captain Foley. Lamb, come on, Holmes. Bye. Bye, guys.